Hey guys, welcome back to the Nerdy Collector and today I am doing a video of my Funko Chase collection. Now I'm going to show you guys every Funko Chase I own. There's 22 in total, so this could be a while video, but I'm going to go through them and show you each one. Lots of them I have picked up on hunts on this channel and some of them I haven't, so I'm just going to show you guys each one and um, drop, drop me a comment and let me know your favourite one in the comments below. So let's start off and take a look at my first chase. These are in no particular order guys, but the first one I'm gonna show you is Miguel from the film Coco. Now I have this chase. I've picked this up at the Disney store in one of my previous um, pop hunts. And this is one of the chases that I least like. It's my least favorite chase, I would say. One of them anyway, because I've never, I haven't seen the film yet. And I actually think that the version was not the chase, is the better pop. But it was a chase for 10 pounds in the Disney store, so I'd be a fool to leave it. So um, there's number one. Now actually my least favorite chase is this. This is a chase I picked up. I don't know what it is, I don't know what film it's from, but it was six pounds in Forbidden Planet. So I picked that up. I thought to myself, a chase for six pounds, because I know it's not actually, there's a story behind this one, and it's very rubbish and they sell it cheap. You can pick this up cheap anywhere. So if you haven't got a chase and you do want one, pick this guy up because he's six quid and he just makes up one of the 22 in my collection. So I have a pop I picked up here. It's a shark from the um, film Tron. It's a Disney film. This is a limited edition chase glow in the dark. They had this at Forbidden Planet before they put the chase prices up to 22.99. This was 10 pounds. So for 10 pounds for a glow in the dark chase, I wasn't going to leave it behind. I actually didn't pick this up on a, a hunt video. I picked this up when I wasn't filming. So um, it's pretty cool pop and I really do like it. Another chase I have picked up is this Top Cat pop. Now I'm not sure if I did pick this up on this channel or not. I can't remember. But this is a, I'm trying to find an angle where it doesn't glare on the pop. This is a really, really cool pop i really do like this it's not very much different from the original the original's got like a, a burgundy uh, top on but this one has a pink top on and which makes it the chase but i love top cat i loved it as a kid and when i saw the chase version i think i paid about 20 quid probably a bit overpriced but I, I just impulsively bought it at the time. So it's another a cool addition to my Chase collection. Now this is one of the pops I did find in a video. I found this in one of the videos earlier on my channel when I done a Funko Pop Hunt in Tesco's. Now I found this for 10 pounds, so that was really, really, really good. Not bad. My, this was, I think, my first ever Chase. This was the first Chase I ever picked up, believe it or not. And uh, I'd never found one before this, and obviously my luck has grown since that day I picked that up. And, um, yeah, and if you don't know about it, guys, I'm doing a giveaway for this Funko Chase. I have two, so I'm giving it away. So in the link in the description below, there will be a uh, competition to enter to win this. All you have to do is um, subscribe to this channel and follow me on Twitter to enter, and you'll be entered into this. I'll be drawing the uh, prize and the winner on the 1st of May, so enter in the description below. Good luck. And yeah, my first ever Funko Chase, a pool. Then guys, last week, this was my most recently bought Chase. I posted a video of me popping to the Disney store and I picked up this Yizma Chase from Emperor's New Groove. She's a glow in the dark Chase and she's really, really cool. I really do like this. I did look for this the first time I went to the Disney store the week before in the video then and I didn't have it, but I went back and I found it. So a nice addition to my collection and my Disney collection. And guys, another Funko Chase I picked up on the previous pop hunt to the Disney store a week before for the Yzma chase was this glow in the dark red Jafar chase. I had lots of luck at the Disney store to be honest. I picked this one up from the Disney store also as well as the Yzma chase and that was really cool. I really do like this pop and another addition to my Disney collection and my chase collection. Then in Forbidden Planet before they turned really really pricey, Star Lord. I picked up Star Lord for £10. Really, really cool pop. I really like Guardians of the Galaxy and Star Lord is probably the best character, bar Drax. And um, I thought I'd definitely pick up this limited edition chase of Star Lord. I'm not going to leave it for £10. It's a really, really, really nice looking cool pop. And excuse the ice cream van going past right now. Uh, it seems to have poured up outside, which is kind of annoying. But anyway, yeah, this is a really, really cool pop. Sorry about filming this um, review. I uh, filming the videos on the stairs by the stairs, guys. But at the current moment, in my living situation, I haven't really got anywhere else to film. So uh, this is it for now. I'm trying to build my chase wall up at the back here as I go through. And um, hopefully you'll see them when they get a bit higher. And coming in next is this Lord of the Rings Glow in the Dark Chase Frodo. I did pay a bit extra for this. I think about 20 quid. But I do like the Lord of the Rings pops. And I have most of them. So bar the new wave that's just come out in about 
by a week. And um, this is really cool looking one. I like this with uh, Frodo, with his eyes are all um, bloodshot and the veins are coming out. And it's a glow in the dark limited edition chase, a nice addition to my Lord of the Rings collection, which is quite a good collection to be honest. And sticking with my Lord of the Rings collection is Gollum. I picked up this Gollum chase a few weeks back and uh, I really, um, really liked it. I've seen the, I've seen the other uh, common pops in the wave and I haven't picked them up yet, but when I saw the chase, I scooped it up straight away because it is actually Gollum holding the fish instead of just a normal Gollum, which is really, really cool. Like the little song he sings in the film and it's a great addition to my Lord of the Rings collection. Then guys, coming in, I have this. So next up guys, I have this, Mr. Meeksy's Chase. Now this was a really cool find as well for me. I found this in Forbidden Planet in Croydon. And again, when they were 10.99, huge fan of Rick and Morty. So this was definitely, I had to pick this up. I do have the normal Mr. Meeksy's and um, this is a really cool version where he's all stressed out, holding the gun after he just cannot get those um, swings off of Jerry's golf game. And he's stressed out and it's a really cool pop and I really, really like it. And it's a great character to have a chase off. And then guys, another chase I found at the Disney store which is this, it is Black Panther. Now, Black Panther is probably the best Marvel movie to date, but, um, but ask me that question again at the end of the month when Avengers is out. But this is a really cool looking pop. It's Black Panther with his mask on, limited edition chase, and I picked it up for £10 at the Disney store. Really, really cool, and it's such a great bargain. And then, guys, we've got my only six-inch um, chase pop, which I picked up the other week, if you watch my previous um, Funko Hunt videos, is this Schmaug. I do have the normal version, but I saw this in Forbidden Planet. It was quite expensive, it was a bit pricey, but I thought, you know what? I've never seen the uh, Chase edition. I'm probably never going to see it again if I leave it. So I'm going to pick it up, and I did. And I really do um, like this. I like the um, the size of it, and it's like I said, my first six inch limited edition Chase, and it really makes a nice addition to my Chase collection. With like I said, I like Lord of the Rings, so it falls in with the Hobbit. Unfortunately, all the others on the back, I'm never going to get because they're all so old now. It's hard to find them for a cheap price. But this is really really cool. Right, guys, we're getting down to the last few now, and I am. Try to keep my favourite ones to the end. And um, this one here I picked up as well from HMV in Croydon. I think this is the only chase I picked up ever in HMV. It is a 11 with Ego's Chase. I paid £14.99 for this in HMV. Not too bad, very reasonable. And it's a really cool addition to my Stranger Things collection. All my Stranger Things collection is out of box except the exclusives and the 8-bits and the chases. So this will remain in box, obviously. All my chases do, I'm not a savage. But I do take some of my commons out of the box, just for space reasons, really. But this is a really cool, really cool pop. I really like it. And then following on with the Stranger Things, I have this also this closed Demi Gorgon chase. I think I picked this up very long time ago. This is one of my first chases as well. I think I picked this up from HMV in Wimbledon, and it's such a cool uh, pop. I'm not sure if this was my first chase. I can't remember. Might have been the Pork or this, but I picked this up at the same time as I picked up the Spring convention exclusive Night King from Game of Thrones or Fall Conventions, I can't remember, but it's a really cool pop. But I saw this in HMV, it's before they kept them behind a counter and it was sitting there for £14.99 and I definitely had to pick it up because of its limited edition chase. I haven't seen one since, so I think I've really done a good job with that. And then sticking with Stranger Things, again, my third and final Stranger Things Funko chase. It is the Hopper chase. I picked this up last week from Forbidden Planet in Croydon for the expensive price of £22. So I had to pay a little bit more, but I haven't seen Hopper around and I just really like the look of him and I thought, you know what? I'm going to pick him up because I've got all the Stranger Things ones so far. Apart from Dart, which I need that as well. So if anyone ever sees Dart, let me know where they see it and I'll definitely pick it up. But um, it was a bit pricey, but worth it for me. And this one is one of my favourites. It is Bob Ross. This is a Bob Ross pop. Now, as um, I love Bob Ross. I think he's great. I think all the YouTube poops of him are fantastic and they're hilarious. And all the, um, the memes and things, I really do like him. This is Bob Hart Ross with Hoot. You can get one where he's with a raccoon as well. There's Bob Ross Flocked, which I really do what I had just seen in the previous video I've just filmed. Uh, Bob Ross paint, paint Your Own Pop, which is really cool. But the Chase one I saw in Place in Space in Croydon, and they wanted, I think it was £20 for it and I'd never seen it before so I quickly snapped it up. They still have lots of Bob Ross Pops in that store as you can see by one of my previous videos if you check it out and um, this is the first chase First time I saw a chase in there and I nabbed it because I'm a big fan of Bob Ross. Right we're getting down to the last few. I keep saying that. Um, this one I picked up last week is in a pop protector because one of my favourite wrestlers of all time, Razor Ramon, the bad guy, Scott Hall. I really, really like this pop. I got this from Selfridges from the WWE WrestleMania store, which was really cool. This was the only one they had. The guy said they did have the Iron Sheet, the Rock, 
and Million Dollar Man, but they'd all been snapped up, which I was so annoyed about. But at least I managed to get this one because otherwise I'd have brought all of them. But yeah, amazing. It's his normal attire is great. I'd like I need to get that one, but the NWO attire is an even better. And for ten pounds in Selfridges, I thought it'd be marked up. I can't you can't go wrong. So. I love this pop. And sticking with the WWE theme, one of my other first uh, chase chases, I picked this up at um, Comic-Con in October last year. It is the limited edition Finn Balor chase. Now Finn is one of my favourite wrestlers as well. I, I love Finn Balor, I think he's great. I have the Mattel action figure of Finn and it actually looks really good in the comparison to this. I believe there is a review up on my channel of this pop, so make sure you please check that out. That would be really, really cool if you can. It would just be further back in my my videos I possibly it'd be in the link in the description below if I remember to do so and um, yeah this is a great pop it came in the pop protector and um, I was really pleased with it 20 pounds from the uh, Forbidden Planet store at Comic-Con and I'm also going to Comic-Con um, at the end of next month so hopefully many more of these to come Rick and Morty now guys and we have this Sentinel Arm Morty now this is great it's a great episode where there's like these sort of uh, it's like a Mad Max mock episode and it's really cool Morty gets injected and he got a really big arm and the arm likes to fight in the normal pop Morty's just holding his arm out like this uh, but in the this one he's got the thumbs up with the blood on it just like in the show and it's fantastic I brought this the same time as I bought my Gollum pop from a place in space for 20 pounds uh, they had all the regular Rick and Morty stuff there but this is the one I wanted to snap up and it's one of my favorite chases you can see the pop walls building up behind me from the floor but we are down to the final two and um, these are my top two favorite chases we have Pennywise now I got this in a uh, in Forbidden Planet in Croydon. I was queuing up in Forbidden Planet, and um, someone, one of the people, opened up the case where they keep the chases. They're putting stuff in, and so I thought, "What's that?" And I saw it. It was a Pennywise chase. I had to pay twenty five ninety nine for this. Very expensive, but. I bought a pop protector for it because it is such a, a cool pop. It was very rare and they re-released it, but I'm glad I managed to, to nab one because it's really cool. And I've got lots of Pennywise pops, but this one is my favourite. And my second favourite chase in my collection. So um, that's Pennywise. And then my number one chase in my collection, my favourite pop in the whole chase collection. You, you might not think it's the best one, but my personal favourite. Jack Tolerance from The Shining. Now, the reason this is one of my favourite pops is it's because it was just so hard for me to find. I've put them in a pop protector, and I really do want to get all of them in pop, all of those in pop protectors. But it's just a, a amount of money of buying them because I'd rather buy the pop than a pop protector. But in the end, all of those pops will be in protectors. This here. If anyone knows anywhere I can get cheap pop protectors, drop me a comment. But this here is my favourite. I've got the original and I really wanted this frozen one. And I looked and looked and looked and looked and I sent pictures to my family and my people I know from YouTube and I'm asking them if they can look out for it because I really want it and no luck. But in the previous time, about two videos back, a uh, place in space, Croydon, my favourite shop. I walked into that shop and they had it right there for £25, which is a steal or 22 I can't remember. One of the two, it was a steal, 25 and I I couldn't have been more happier. And it's my pride and joy of my whole Funko Pop collection, my number one favourite pop. So guys, I know I've rambled on a bit on this video, but my Funko uh, Chase, my Funko Chase collection is here. Just on the stairs there next to that lovely looking cardboard box. But I will have a better thumbnail. There's it all, just a one big look at my Chase collection. I'm very happy with all the chases I've managed to pick up, so I'm really glad with that. So guys, thanks for watching this video. I know it's been a long one, I've been rounding on, but there's a lot of chases, like I said, 22. Hopefully I can hit 30. By the time I come back from Comic-Con next month, that'd be cool, it won't happen. But hopefully I can. I've been on a roll recently. I didn't find one. I, did, I actually saw a few today in a, recording this video on Saturday so I uploaded a, uh, a pop hunt video tomorrow Sunday because this is going to go up today and I found I saw a princess Diana chase and a couple of other chases but stay tuned for that and um thanks for watching guys like I said hit that like button I hope you have enjoyed this video drop me a comment down below let me know what your favorite chase of my collection is and if you agree with me with my one and um, don't forget to enter that competition I was saying about it's in the link's description below follow me on Twitter and Instagram also linked below and uh don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, guys, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching this. Bye-bye.